Heart sprinkle. Hey everyone, it's Crystal and welcome back to Heart Sprinkle. Today we are working on the week three of the Unicorn C2C Cal. We're now starting on the green section of the original pattern and I'm super excited because it's our middle section and we are also gonna hit our corners which we will start decreasing on the sides and it will start to feel like we're going through our blanket faster. So yay, I'm excited for this point. Now before we begin row 48, we will need to attach a new bobbin, but be sure that you are attaching on the correct side of the unicorn here. This is where his mane is. So make sure you're not on the other side where the hearts are. All right, everybody, here are the additional bobbins you will need for this week's cow. Four green, one dark pink, one light pink, and one white. Let's get started. We're going to begin row 48 by attaching a new green bobbin and we need 8 green. Twenty one white. One dark pink. Eight light pink. one dark pink and for the last section of row 48 we need nine green and i'm attaching a new bobbin now we're on row 49 and we're starting with 10 green Nine light pink, twenty one white, now to finish off row forty nine in the last section, we need nine green, now we're starting on row fifty, and you need eight green. Now we need one white and I'm attaching a new bobbin. One green and I'm attaching a new bobbin. 20 white. Eight light pink, one dark pink. To finish off row 50, you will need 10 green. All right, everyone, for row 51, we need nine green. However, we need to decrease this side and I will show you how to do that. Normally we do a chain five or chain six if you're doing the traditional C2C stitch. But to decrease, we need to slip stitch at the top of these double crochet stitches. So we're gonna slip stitch three stitches and then we're gonna chain three and then do three double crochets in this chain two space. We continue by slip stitching and chaining two and doing the three double crochets in that chain two space. 
I did a chain three here because I want this side to be flat. If you do the modified version of the chain two here, it'll look like this hump instead of it being straight. So only on the decrease side, on the edge here, I do a chain three. Everywhere else is a chain two. So keep that in mind when you do the rest of the row and including the other decrease stitches. And the only, like I said, the only reason why we do the chain three here is just so it stays flat instead of humped in like this one. Again, for row 51, at the beginning here, we need nine green. One dark pink. Nine light pink. Twenty two white. We're dropping these two colors at the moment. But to finish off row 51, we need nine green. Now we're starting row 52, and we will begin with nine green. Twenty two white. One dark pink, nine light pink. We don't need a dark pink. To finish off row 52, we need nine green. So this is the side we are decreasing on. To finish this row off, we need to slip stitch into the chain space here, turn it over, and do our decrease stitch again, which is where you slip stitch into the double crochet stitches at the top. Right, This is the double crochet stitches, and the top is up here. So we're slip stitching in all three, chain three, only on this side. The decrease side and only on this square if you're doing the modified stitches for this cow and then we just continue on to row 53 to start off row 53 you will begin with 8 green One dark pink, four light pink, one dark pink, three light pink, and I'm attaching a new bobbin. One dark pink. 23 white. To finish row 53, you will need 9 green in the last section. I have cut off these bobbins that were here. I know we'll need them again somewhere up here later on but I did this little knot just to remind myself that I need to do those right away. Oh, that's not darn so hang on. So now we are on row 54 and we are starting with 10 green. Twenty three white. One dark pink, two 
light pink, one dark pink, five light pink. You will need this dark pink later on in the next row. To finish off row 54, we need eight green. We have reached the end of row 54, and again, we are on the decrease side. We need to slip stitch into that chain space and slip stitch our tops of the double crochet and chain three and continue on to row 55. We're gonna start off with seven green. One dark pink, four light pink, four dark pink. We will be dropping this light pink and you can cut it off and sew it in because you no longer need it. After doing the four dark pinks, we run into this other dark pink and we will actually no longer need this dark pink as well. So you can cut this off and sew it in. The next section is 23 white. To finish up row 55, we need 11 green. Now we are on row 56 and we are starting with 11 green. Twenty-two white. We need five green and I'm attaching a new bobbin, but this was a bobbin we dropped earlier. We went over this dark pink right here and we no longer need this to be attached, so we can cut that off. Five light pink. To finish off row 56, we need seven green. We're gonna drop this dark pink off for now, but we will need it for the next row. We're at the end of row 56 here. Don't forget you need to slip stitch into the previous chain space here. Slip stitch into the tops of the double crochets and chain three. Now we will begin row 57 and we're starting with six green. One dark pink, four light pink, We need one dark pink, and I actually have one that's still attached back here, so I'm gonna do a long jump with it. Five green. Twenty-one white. One green, and I'm attaching a new bobbin. All right, so we just attached this new green. My bobbin's all the way down here for it. Now we need one white and we're attaching a new bobbin. This is the green for this side. We need to move it one square. So when you do your one white, be sure to crochet over the tail so then we can move it over here. So we're attaching the white on a new bobbin right here for one white. This is the tail I just crocheted over with the white. Now we need to do 10 green to finish off row 57. Now we're on row 58 
and we are starting with 11 green. We need 21 white. I have a bobbin of white here that I just attached in the previous row. I'm only making one square with that one. And then I'm gonna switch over to the white that's attached to the skein here. Um, the reason why I'm doing that is just because I just want to make another square because <laughs> I just attached this color and I feel like the more squares you have with that, the more secure it is. The green we're going to drop though because it's just a little piece of the green in between the main here. And like I said, that happens every now and then where you just have the one. So here I'm switching to the bobbin of white that's actually attached to the skein. We need seven green and we're gonna jump down one block. One dark pink, three light pink, one dark pink. To finish off row 58, we need six green. Don't forget we are decreasing on this side, so we're going to slip stitch into the chain 3 space. Slip stitch across and 3 chains and continue on to row and continue on to row 59. Now we are on row 59 and we're starting with 6 green. one dark pink, two light pink, one dark pink, 11 green, all right guys we have met up with our white here I am going to do a long jump on this one because I don't want to jump four squares with it underneath the green so I'm just gonna do a long jump when I need to over here. Now we need 18 white and I'm doing a long jump to this spot. This is the white I told you guys I was gonna drop later on. And now to finish off row 59, we need 11 green. Now we are on row 60 and we are starting with 12 green. Eighteen white. Eleven green. We need three dark pink and you will be dropping this light pink and this dark pink. We no longer need those. And to finish off row 60 we need six green. Now we're back at our decrease side and we're going to slip stitch into the chain space, turn our work, slip stitch in the double crochet, stitches at the top and chain three. Now we are on row 61 and we are starting with 18 green. I ran into my other green right here. I'm just gonna keep going with my current green bobbin and if I need to later on just jump this green. But I'm going to leave it attached for now. Now we need 19 white and I am going to jump my white down one square. Now to finish off row 61 we need 13 green. 
Now we are on row 62 and we are starting with 12 green. Row 62 is also our corner, so this will be the last increase we do here, and then we're also going to start decreasing on this side. For this block, we need just one white, so I'm going to do a long jump with the white I have attached. And right after it, we need one green block. Instead of adding a new green, I'm actually going to take the tail of this green right here and I'm going to crochet over it and move it over here when I'm done. Don't forget to make sure that this green tail right here is pulled tight. So now I need another green block here. So this is what it looks like on the back and I'm fine with it looking like that. It's only one but you're more than welcome to do the long jumps instead if you don't feel comfortable with that. But again, <laughs> I'm doing another jump with this white. I'm just moving it back over here in the main white again. Pull that tight. Now we need 19 white. To finish off row 62, you need 17 green. From this point on, you will be decreasing on both sides, and that is when you slip stitch into the chain space and slip stitch through the tops of the double crochets and chain three, and that's only for the sides. Now we are in row 63 and we are starting with 16 green. 21 white. Alright guys, so we're at the point where we did our crazy jumps earlier. I was going to move this green over one square but I didn't like how it looked. So I'm going to continue with my last my last white square here and then I'm just gonna have to do a long jump with this green back to this spot and we need 12 green to finish off row 63 from now on we are decreasing on the sides so here we are going to slip stitch into the chain 2 space and slip stitch into the double crochets at the top here and chain 3 and we will continue on to the next row we are on row 64 which is the last row for the week and we need 11 green Twenty four white. Now we've reached the green here. Um, I think I want to just jump it instead of making it the long jump instead of making it jump up. But you're more than welcome to jump it a couple squares. To finish off row 64, we need 13 green. To finish off this row, we're going to slip stitch. And I'm going to slip stitch the tops of these double crochets. And then I'm going to fasten off right here. I wanted to do that so that it's the same all the way up to here for how it feels on this side for all the decreases. All right, everyone, that's the end of week three. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please let me know in the comments down below what you think of the cow so far. If you share a photo, please tag me at HeartSprinkle and use our hashtag HeartSprinkleCal. 
Don't forget you can join our project at any time and join our group page. It'll be linked down below. From now on, the project will fly by or seem that way because we are decreasing on the sides and each row will seem like you're going through it faster. So I can't wait to get started with you guys in the next week's project. I hope to see you back again. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.